Hey there, today's video is a compilation of three previous videos that I released. We're going through all five built-in functions to import data into your Google Sheet. I hope you find value in this. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Now, let's go. Can you connect two Google Sheets data to one another? Yes. And it's a built-in function that's easy to use. It's called import range. You need two things. You need the URL of the spreadsheet that you want to pull data from. And then you need the spreadsheet range on that spreadsheet that you want the data to come from. Check it out. Import range B2. This is a URL for the data over here, which is just a bunch of Samsung Galaxy random data that I got on Kaggle. That's the URL. If you want to type it out, you need to put it in quotes and type out HTTP, blah, blah, blah. I find it easier and cleaner to just paste it into a cell and then reference that cell. Then also within quotes, you need to reference the range of the spreadsheet you're pulling data from. I've renamed this sheet tab to data. That's why you see data exclamation mark A1 through K. And that will, as I hit enter, pull every piece of data on these Samsung Galaxy phones into my spreadsheet. Now you can minimize this to say the first 10 rows if you want to just get those first 10 rows, any range that you want to put in here. What if you want to pull data from a website itself? Well, there's an import HTML function also built in. This is gonna take, you guessed it, the URL, a query, which this is going to be one of two words. You're gonna either have the word list or the word table and then an index, meaning the first table, the second table, like which number table, if there's more than one on the page, do you want to pull in? Now, what are list and index? Those are HTML descriptions of the data on a page. If we go quickly to the article that I'm referencing on Wikipedia here, and we pull up the inspection developer tools, we can see that this right here is formatted as a table in HTML. In other cases, you may come across a list, an unordered or an ordered list of HTML data you wanna bring in. That's getting into the weeds a little bit. Let's just check out what our import does here. We are again referencing the URL in this B3 cell. We're typing table because that's the table we want. We're going to get the zeroth table. That's the first one on the sheet. And check it out. It is pulling over this table of information and stats into our spreadsheet. Let's import some more data into our Google Sheets, shall we? Today, let's look at import data and import feed, though. All of these are built-in functions to Google Sheets that you have access to right now. Import data, all it wants is a website. So I've found some data sets over here and I've found this in a CSV format. It wants to see either CSV format or TSV format. That's comma separated or tab separated values. And then I've pasted that in here for our URL to use. And all it wants is, hey, import data, URL, there it is, there's the data. It's doing the heavy lifting for us. If for some reason you hit a snag, you can always go in here and manually put the delimiter as a comma. In our case here, that's a CSV file that we are pulling in, but it shouldn't need that. Uh, something would have to be messed up for you to have to manually type that in. That's it, that's easy. Import data, nothing to it. Import feed is about as simple. It needs a URL for an RSS feed. So here's the RSS feed page for one of my podcasts. And here is the XML code from that actual page. It's just a huge long document that keeps track of every single episode and all the pieces of information about a podcast. So with import feed, we can come down here and say import feed give it the URL, then everything else is optional, but all I wanted here was the title for each of the items, which gives me each episode title. And then I wanted the headers to be there, so I wanted it to say title at the top. And then I said, give me 50 items. And I actually don't have 50 podcasts, but that just pulled in everything that I do have. I did the same thing over here to pull in the URLs for each of those. So if I went over here, then it would actually take me to each individual podcast player page. 
and that's all there is to it. Now, if you wanted to get some more information on some of those options, you can pull up the help box here and it'll tell you about those query options like the items and the URL that I used, what all you can do with those. All right, let's talk about import XML. This is the last of the five of the import functions that are built into Google Sheets. I've gone over the others. They're up here for your reference and they will be included in the Google Sheet that I've linked in the description below. Today though, we're looking at a very powerful one, uh, but it's also complicated. Import XML. Let's start with a web page because we need a URL address. And here we have it up here. This is my author page at Free Code Camp. It's just got a list of the articles that I've written, the titles and the links to them, et cetera. If you pull up the developer tools, we can then inspect the page and see some things about all of these elements. To use uh, import XML, you have to know a little bit of HTML, which is how information is presented on a website. You can see that down here as I highlight or as I scroll through different items, it's highlighting them up there on the web page. For instance, this H2 class postcard title, this is actually this section right here, the title to that article. As we'll find if we inspect others, they are all H2 class postcard titles. And then they simply have different text as well as what's called an anchor tag with an href. That's the link to this particular article. Okay, so you can find out tons of stuff just by right clicking a page and saying inspect, and then it will pull up the developer tools down below. Let's go into our spreadsheet where I've pulled the address to that page for us to use, and it's in A11. And then let's start out by writing something simple ourselves. Import XML, A11, which is where the URL of that page is, that's my author page, and then XPath Query. So this is going to take a query that's written in double quotes with a double slash at the start of it. And we can put in something as simple as H1, which is, or an H2 rather, which is a header element. And it will pull in all of those titles because they're all H2 elements, but it's also pulling this guy right here, this little snippet about me. I don't want that. So in order to be a little bit more specific over here in our actual statement, we're going to write A11 again, slash slash asterisk, that's gonna, that's shorthand for saying I want all of these things. And the things we want are enclosed in brackets. We're gonna go at class postcard title. Okay, that's gonna say, hey, look for anything with the class postcard title. And we found that in our page right here. Okay, so once we do that, it's gonna pull in all of the titles to my articles. In order to get the slug or the URL for the individual articles, we're gonna do something similar. It starts out the same way. So we're getting that class postcard title. And then we're saying, hey, uh, go one step further. Nested beneath there is an anchor tag. So slash slash a slash at href. <laughs> it gets a little funky, right? But it's real powerful because you can get super specific on what information you want to pull into your Google Sheet. So that's saying, look at those H2 elements, the titles we just pulled, and then attached to those is this anchor tag with a URL. So bring that over here. And sure enough, it brings that over here. Now, in order to turn that into a working link, I just concatenated the freecodecamp.org part with that slug I just extracted. Okay, this is the bare essentials of what you can do, but it gives you a good introduction to the power of XPath query. Uh, here is a cheat sheet. This will be linked in the description. Uh, also linked is that Google sheet that we just used. This shows you, I mean, it goes way into the weeds. You can find whatever you need to in terms of how to look up different things depending on how it's listed on the page that you're trying to look it up. I found everything I needed here. It took some problem solving, some sleuth work in some cases, but super powerful. I hope it's helpful for you in importing data to your own spreadsheets. Let me know in the comments below. Click like and subscribe to the video. It really helps out the channel. You're awesome. Thanks and goodbye.